Alrighty then. Just if you're interested. Not super important, but it, it can be. It can be. This is two new ugly sticks. And this is how. Now there's two in there, and I think they're in separate boxes. This is how they come packaged in a cardboard box. And they've got mixed merchandise in this container. Check carefully. All right, but they got these stiffeners here because, you know, boxes always seem to snap in half. So let's open this up and use the old Microtech. This was free shipping now from walmart.com. Free shipping. Okay. All right, what we got here? I'm gonna try to show you. There you go. So you got a cardboard box and you got your rods in there, but then you got these stiffeners again. And how rods come obviously is something that, ooh, to me is quite important. Okay, they got these stiffener cardboards in there and even a zip tie holding it all together. Now this, like I said, was from Walmart. These rods went all the way from Washington State. They always remind me of my boat. All the way from Washington State to Jacksonville, Florida. And of course it had to go like a pin, like what, what do they call that? <coughs> Pinball. So there you go. That's pretty nice. I'd almost say this is a little better than... This is almost a little better than just the old cardboard tube, to tell you the truth. These are ugly stick, six foot three, heavy action. Heavy action. Elite or E light, however you look at it. Jigging rods. Okay. Now, there ain't nothing else in there. So they literally have zip ties holding them. I found this the last time I got the rods. It was a box with two boxes in it. Walmart is going toe to toe with Amazon. So that's just a little story about ordering some rods from Walmart. Packaged very well. I have to say I'm very impressed. Uh, so I'm getting a couple more of these. I'm just stocking up now because I've seen the writing on the wall. I mean, I remember when these rods and stuff were like, God, you could go to Walmart and pick them off the shelf for like 50 bucks, six, maybe 60 with tax, tag and title out the door. Because I've got the originals with the aluminum butt cap. I've got the ones with the original Fuji gunmetal gray real seat and the ones with the Fuji ceramic guides. I've got them. Either way, I just thought I'd do a little unboxing here where the boxing matters. It really matters. So there's just a little bit of an ugly stick update. So thanks for watching and I'll see you around. Hello, YouTube. This is a amendment to the video of Ugly Sticks, Elite, Elite, whatever you want to call it, jigging rods from 
Walmart. Shakespeare Ugly Stick Tiger E Light Jigging, one of my favorite rods of all time. And these are brand new. Look, look at the guides. But then you get to the tips. Okay, had one snap a week ago. Just had another one snap yesterday in the exact same area of the rod. There I've got them parallel. This is a bad batch. I got about three uses out of them and they snap in the exact same spot. So there you go. I'm switching and here's my huge problem. Brand new E-Lite Jiggings, brand new E-Lite Jigging, brand new E-Lite Jigging. Here, I never did a video on this because I don't, I don't believe anybody's going to give a hoot. But here's two brand new E-Lite Jiggings with Dakotas on them. Brand new Dakotas right here. Then I've got these brand new Eli jigging on Shimano TR Triton 100s with the Fighting Star drag system. So, yes, Walmart boxes them up great, as you saw in the video. But now I am going to take these back to Walmart and return it for my $160. So, I can go buy probably star rods. Okay. So here we go. They're like Amazon. I went through the return process and there's $159.99. Two ugly stick. They're the ones that broke. I got the September 11th to take them back. And they give you a barcode and I'm taking them back to the store so we'll see how it works all right so you go to my email here what the hell okay and they give you the barcode thing right here there you go in-store returns are easy well, we'll see. They say they'll give me my money back within credited within 10 days. 10 business days after return is received. $171.89. They'll take it out of Shakespeare's ass, I'm sure. Because if you go to Shakespeare, ugly stick, I mean, you they make it so hard. So, I mean, screw that. I went here to Star Rods, right, and they say on their warranty on Star, I've always loved Stars because they're very similar to Ugly Sticks, but they said somewhere in here that uh, try taking it back to where you got it. Do that first. See, so they got a five-year on star rods okay it said somewhere in here take it back to where you got it either way that's what i'm doing right now i'm heading to the walmart little small sharks here's one right here that i guess it'll be breaking soon right about there i don't know there's there's a bad batch i've gotten a bad batch so I'll let you know. Alrighty. Well, I took those rods back. I taped them all together. And I took them back to my local Walmart. And I went up to the service desk. And there was absolutely no problem. I sh just like Amazon or something, when you're going to return it, I showed her the barcode on the email. She hit it. She goes, okay. She gives me a receipt and says, unlike the email, 
it said within 10 days you'll get your you know your your uh, refund on your money and she says oh it could be a lot sooner than that maybe even three days so what I did then and I don't believe it right now until I sort of see it okay but I'm going back to my old used to be for my heavy heavy duty uh, river shark whatever really big fish rods because back then I never had a problem if you don't know this but and I, I will I'll show you when I get them back in the day I mean everybody's arsenal that did tarpon and shark fishing and stuff always use these e-glass uh, real kind of always long I never used the long ones but I mean I knew guys that had them that were eight foot and they use something like the star with the anti foul stainless steel twist guides they call them snake guides or something they are just durable beat the hell out of them guides probably way more durable I I'd think than uh, the ugly ugly stick tough guides they're the original massively durable guides they're stainless and they have a foot on them and they twist around and then make another foot and they're very durable rods so star still makes those I put a post in my community page of when I had believe it or not ugly stick made what they called ugly stick custom rods and they were black and they were really nice and they made the same thing I think it had probably you know one of those hard butts instead of foam it was like a hard butt and I had those and I've got lots of old shark fishing videos and I posted one on my community page saying this is what I'm going back to because all the old-timey uh, tarpon shark guides around here fishing guides used to have arsenals of those and it was either I don't know if they had ugly sticks or not I had ugly sticks I knew I believe Crowder and then when um, star came along they made them and I mean they sell out like they get a few at my bait shop that I go to and they're gone immediately and it was an old company called Sam Scott this is stuff that guys new to the field here of you know really getting into the tackle and and having to have the tackle for their customers and really stuff that can you can beat up there used to be these rods called Sam Scott's and Sam Scott those rods always had sort of the snake guides on them I believe and all the old tarpon and shark guides always use those you know with the advent of something like as light as that ugly stick e-light jigging I really really liked them for the sheer fact that you know a little woman or a kid can handle that that little six foot light rod and the reason I got away from my ugly stick custom seven foot with the snake guides is they were a really heavy rod that solid butt made for it to be really really heavy and then you put the reel on top of it and it was all a kid could do just to hold it but it looks like there was a hiccup or something in the manufacturing of these ugly stick Shakespeare Tiger Elite jigging and I don't know if they know it or not I was gonna call ugly stick and say you know you got a real hiccup going on here because that's two that I got at the beginning of the month and they're already broken but I have caught hundreds of sharks on those Elite Tiger jigging rods and they haven't broke. 
So there's something wrong now. There's a defect in their production because those two that you saw laying on the floor, those two broke within the same spot within an inch on the blank. So they got a real problem. And I'm not hanging around with the, for the problem. I'm not hanging around. You know, I've got, I showed you all those tiger jigging that I have. And now I'm suspect that, okay, they might break because they're all, all but like four or six are brand newish, brand newish. The ones that are on the Dakotas, the ones that are, that I have the Tritons on, they're all new, but at least Walmart is giving me my almost $200 back with tax and all that. They were free shipping. That's a good thing. That's what I'm trying to tell you about Walmart is it's unfortunate that those rods have to come all the way across the country, but they're boxed well, boxed very well, almost better than a cardboard tube. So if you do order, I guess, from Walmart, I can't say if it's an ugly stick thing because I've only ordered ugly sticks. I'm getting the star. I bought four star with the anti foul guides, the e-glass rods, and I'm going back to those. They have a kind of a big parabolic bend on them. And I'm going back to the old school tarpon shark rods that the old guys used to have. And I used to have, you know, you, you step away from what always worked because you're thinking you're doing an upgrade. Right. I used to have those. They were quite heavy rods, heavy in weight. And I saw the kids and the, and the women struggling just to hold those rods, reeling in a small shark. I said to myself, okay, I'm going to use those ugly stick jigging tiger e-lights because they're so lightweight. But what it turns out to be is the fact that you go to upgrade from old school and then something happens like this and now I've lost trust. I've lost trust in ordering the Ugly Stick Tigers. I was this close to ordering the Ugly Stick Tiger medium heavy, just seven foot regular, regular, just tiger rod. Not the jigging, not anything. It's just, a, I've owned them before, just super stiff tiger rods. And I'm spooked all, I'm, I'm spooked about that. So I'm going back, I, I had some star rods, I sold them all because I wasn't really using them, but I'm gonna go to stars for the old school tarpon, and sh tarpon shark type rods with the anti-foul guides. I'll show them when they get here. I actually paid 20 bucks extra for them to come in two days. Today's Friday, so maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday, of course, you'll never get anything probably. And I might have them on Monday. I don't know where they're coming from. But West Marine really seems to be a star rod dealer. And everybody was out of star rods. And I went and I ordered four of these, you know, ones with the anti foul guides on them, seven footers. They're heavy action. But they're only one to four ounces. That's all they say. You could put way more than four ounces on one, I'm sure. But um, West Marine has them. I mean, I put in four and they said, okay, how many you want? And that was very surprising because many times I looked at other places and those particular star rods were gone. They don't have any. So this is a long story to two rods that broke in the exact same spot. Two rods that I really like and then I've got what 10 others of and how now I've again lost confidence in ugly stick I've lost confidence again I lost confidence the first time during the China plague you know because you couldn't even get them I guess their factories must be in Wuhan you know I don't know about these companies anymore but you're trying to always look for a company that can be a stable supplier. And it's tough. It is tough anymore. 
Uh, so either way, I need shark rods. And if these rods really work out, I might get some more because I think it would take, you know, a real um, Herculean strength to probably break the tip off of one of these star rods. It's a little bit different. They're e-glass. E-glass is a nice bendable kind of rod. So there you go. There's an update and I'll do a I'll do a second update, I guess it would be. I'll do a second update when I get them. And I'll show you how somebody like me is always searching back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with these companies to get what I need. You know, and I'm very particular. That's the thing. Tackle is my thing. One thing that always stays constant is being a tackle junkie. Always looking, especially in the charter business, staying ahead of the, taking a novice or a newbie or somebody, staying ahead of that curve. Whew, it's tough. So guess what? When I get the other ones, I'll make a video about it. So thanks for watching.